Hi, I'm Danny from House Fresh, and behind me are some of the best air purifiers on the market right now. Now, all the recommendations I make today are gonna to be based on 62 hands-on reviews that involve gathering data on air cleaning performance, sound level generation, and long-term running costs. All of my recommendations are gonna be broken down by category, from massive air purifiers for large spaces to those that give you the best bang for your buck. And I'm also gonna recommend air purifiers you can build yourself. While some of the air purifiers you will know, I'm sure you're gonna be surprised by quite a few from brands you've never heard of. Before I jump into the recommendations, I first wanna talk about how we test each air purifier. Since 2021, we've been testing all of our air purifiers in the same test room, measuring 728 cubic feet. We first burn an incense stick to release particle and VOC pollutants, and then we switch on the air purifier to its highest fan speed. Now, unlike many of the tests you see on here, we don't just take an air quality reading before and after, but we choose to use a purple air sensor like this, as they've been proven to be highly accurate and are used by researchers around the world. But the big benefit of a sensor like this is it provides regular updates on PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. This means for every air purifier we review, we can publish a graph that shows how well each device removed these pollutants over time. Now, because we test all of our air purifiers in the same room doing the same job, we can quickly compare performance by calculating how much time each unit takes to bring the level of PM1 down to zero. Whilst air cleaning performance is the main function of an air purifier, we also look at the amount of sound that's generated. There's no point an air purifier being great at cleaning the air in your room if it sounds like a jet engine trying to take off. So that's why we use a sound meter at three feet away to see how much sound is generated at each fan speed. Now air purifiers are usually left to run 24 seven. So if you have a very energy intensive device, it could lead to some unexpected costs on your electricity bill. So that's why we use an energy meter like this to see how much energy is used at every fan speed. We also look at long-term costs such as filter replacements. Many small air purifiers might need the filters changing every six months. So this is a cost you need to be aware of. So we make sure to do the research to find out the latest cost for generic and genuine filters. Finally, we use the air purifier in our own home to see how easy it is to live with. Does the app stop working after a period of time? Or is there some design flaw that only becomes apparent after months of usage? In short, we push the air purifier to the limit so you don't get any surprises. First, we have the best air purifier for most people, and it's the Lavoit Vital 200S. Now, this fairly new device from Lavoit promises a lot with its reported KDOT of 245 CFM. It also did really well in its third-party KDOT test from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. For smoke, it had a KDOT of 242 CFM. For pollen, it was 240 CFM, and for dust, 263 CFM. When we test it in our test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 21 minutes, which is impressive considering its price at the time of this video was $189.99. It's also worth considering that this device doesn't use an ionizer to improve particle removal performance, like we see with the Blue Air, Coway, and Winex devices. It's all done with the mechanical filters. Now, one unexpected thing we saw with this device was the amount of power it drew. At its highest fan speed, it only drew 44.5 watts, which is great considering its performance. Now, when it came to filters, genuine filters were fairly priced at just under $60, but there are also a lot of generic filters that brought the price down to $15 to $20 per filter. Now, yearly running costs hit $100 if you chose genuine filters, but were just under $60 for the generic filters. Now, at its highest fan speed, it hit 57.7 decibels. Now, personally for me, at fan speed two, it was 42 decibels, which I found easy to work next to or even sleep. But please, have a listen for yourself. Now for the next category, which is for best bang for your buck. This is aimed at people who want the very best performance for dollars spent. And our top recommendation for this year is the Titronics AP003. I'm gonna guess that you've not heard of this brand or this device because it hasn't really been marketed. I only discovered the device after following the COVID aware community on Twitter. 
and after looking at its KDOS scores, I was so impressed I had to buy it for hands-on testing and reviews. Now, its KDOS score for smoke was 198 CFM, for dust, 202 CFM, and for pollen, 215 CFM which is totally unheard of for devices that cost less than $100, and it was even less than $70 when it first came out. When we tested this device in our test room, it cleaned all PM1 pollutants in just 29 minutes, which is as impressive as devices costing more than twice as much. When it came to sound, it was on par with similar powered devices, hitting 54.2 decibels at its highest fan speed. But please have a listen for yourself. To top it all off, the Titronics only pulls 36 watts at its highest fan speed, which equates to $30.48 on your energy bill when you use it continuously. Genuine filters are only $36, but you can also find generics that go as low as $15 when you buy two at once. It also has some features that you don't normally see at this budget range, such as a removable pre-filter, which you know I love, and an onboard air quality sensor, and even a screen that shows you how many particulates are in the air. Now there are some downsides to the device. The main one is you can't find it on Amazon.com. That's because the company behind it, Titronics, was kicked off for faking reviews back in 2021. But you can find it on the Titronics website, but it's often out of stock. So a really good place to check is eBay. There's many sellers on there selling it for $99. If you want the best bang for your buck in 2024, this is the air purifier you need to get. The next category is the best air purifier for classrooms and offices, and our top recommendation is the Smart Air Blast Mini. Now in our industry, it's full of sharks looking to make a quick buck and trick consumers, but Smart Air is some of the good guys. They put 100% of their profit into getting more people access to clean air, but they're also super clear in their marketing. They don't overhype, they don't over-exaggerate, they just share the data, and they just make our industry a better place to be. Now the reason I'm choosing the Smart Air Blast Mini is how quiet it runs. Many large air purifiers use really powerful fans to push enough air through, but the downside is that they run really loud, so they're basically unsuitable for classrooms and offices. The Smart Air Blast Mini, in comparison, only hits 56.3 decibels. But please, have a listen for yourself to hear how quiet it is. When we tested it in our test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 12 minutes. For those looking for an air purifier for a classroom or office, this is the device I always recommend. Yes, it's a large device, so you're likely to want to use it in your bedroom, and it's also not cheap at $599.99, but it's currently the best large air purifier that runs quietly. The fact that they put 100% of their profits into helping those less fortunate than ourselves to have access to clean air is just the cherry on top. Next up, we have the best air purifier for smoke. And for this, we recommend the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. I have many readers reach out to me who live in condos next to neighbors who chain smoke and they wanna know how to deal with it. The problem is, is that most traditional air purifiers have too little carbon to deal with the odors and gases associated with something as intense as smoking. To deal with these odors and gases, you need lots of activated carbon. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus combines a hyper HEPA filter with over five pounds of activated carbon and zeolite mix. When we tested the IQ Air Health Pro Plus in our test room, it managed to remove all PM1 particles in 25 minutes, while still pushing all of this air through these heavy, dense, activated carbon filters. Every IQ Air device is certified before it leaves the factory in Switzerland, but these high-grade particle filters and large carbon does come with some downsides. When we tested how much energy was used at its highest fan speed, it was 145.2 watts, which equates to an extra $152.63 onto your electricity bill. It was also louder than many devices we had tested, hitting 61.2 decibels at its highest fan speed. And it's not cheap, it's just under $900 when we put this video together and could cost you an additional $200 in filter replacement. But for those dealing with serious odors and gases like that from smoking, this is the device I would recommend. Maybe you don't have $900 to drop on an air purifier. If so, you might be interested in my next category, which is the best small air purifier. And I'm glad to reveal it's the Winex A230. Now in general, I like to recommend that most people go for larger air purifiers with a minimum KDOT of 200 CFM. This is because these devices can run at lower fan speeds, much quieter, and the running costs are not much more than a small device. 
But I get it, people want small devices, so I went through all of the tests and reviews that we produced to find the best performing small device. And it's the Winx A230. It had a great KDAR score from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. It had a smoke KDAR of 149 CFM, dust 154 CFM, and pollen 147 CFM. Now when we tested this device in the same test room we test all of our devices, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 36 minutes, which is impressive considering it was $77 on Amazon together. Now it's worth mentioning that this 36 minute result was with the Plasma Wave Ionizer enabled, and I know many people don't like this function, so I tested it again without the Plasma Wave, and it still was able to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 38 minutes, which is two minutes quicker than our previous small air purifier winner, the Lavoie Core 300. At its highest fan speed, it hit 57.9 decibels, which is a little higher than other small devices we tested, but please, have a listen for yourself. Another reason I chose the Winx A230 over other small devices was because it comes with an auto mode. This is really rare with small, low cost devices, but is super useful. I also liked its flared design. It means that if you move the device when you're cleaning, there's no way the filter can fall out like we saw with the Lavoie Core 300. I also like the design in general. You have the white and gray version that we tested, but there's also a black version out there that has a different name, but inside it's absolutely the same. Our next category is the best air purifier for larger spaces. Based on all of our testing and reviews, our top choice for this year is the Lavoie Core 600S. Most air purifiers will struggle in rooms beyond 350 square feet, but with its reported KDAR of 410 CFM, the Lavoie Core 600S can provide 4.8 air changes in rooms up to 584 square feet. It had some great KDAR scores. It had a smoke KDAR of 377 CFM, 373 CFM for dust, and 437 CFM for pollen. When we tested this device in our test room where we test all of our air purifiers, it managed to remove all PM1 pollutants in a rapid 15 minutes. What's more impressive is that the Lavoie Core 600S doesn't use any type of ionizer. So it, doesn't, it just uses the mechanical filters to achieve this feat. Normally, to air purifiers for large spaces start at the $350 mark, but this device is available today when I produce this video at $299.99 and goes even cheaper during sale time. So it's great value. At its highest fan speed, it hits 61.4 decibels, which is a little higher than average. Considering its air cleaning power, I was impressed to see that the Lavoie Core 600S only pulled 49.27 watts at its highest fan speed. This equates to around $47 onto your energy bill if you use it continuously for a year. Now, Lavoie filters are some of the fairest in the industry, with genuine filters available for this device for $59.99, but you can also find generic filters for just under $40. Now, like the Lavoie Core 300S and up, you also get access to an onboard air quality sensor and a screen that shows you how many particulates are in the air. You also get access to the V-Sync app. Whilst it's not as polished as the Dyson Link app, it still was easy to install and just worked. Another thing to consider is that Dyson made a complaint to the Better Business Bureau about Lavoie's use of the term HEPA. This complaint was upheld and then Lavoie removed the term HEPA from certain products including the Lavoie Core 600S. Now I wouldn't worry too much because this device has performed well in the AHAM KDAR test and our own in-house testing at removing tiny particles. HEPA is not a requirement for a good air purifier and I wouldn't want you to be put off from getting this device because it's really good at removing particles from large spaces. Finally we have the category Best DIY Air Purifier. This was one of my favorite devices we got a chance to test, and it's called the Corsi Rosenhole Box, or CR Box for short. Designed during the dark days of COVID-19, with the idea it could be built with parts easily available in any American home. All you need is a box fan, four MERV 13 HVAC filters, duct tape, and some cardboard, and you can build it yourself. We first tested a simpler version with just a box fan and a HVAC filter, and it worked, but it was much slower than many of the devices we tested. When we tested the CR box in the same test room, we test all of our devices, it managed to clean P1 
PM1 particles in just 25 minutes, which is on par with many devices costing upwards of $500. Now be aware, this device is big, bulky, and takes up a lot of floor space. It also doesn't have a gas filter as standard and can run quite loud depending on the box fan you choose. But for those people who need to deal with the issue right now, such as unexpected wildfire smoke, this is the device I would pick. Now we're testing a new type of DIY air purifier that uses PC fans, so it should be much quieter and much smaller. The device that we have ordered is called the NuKit Tempest, and we're hoping to evaluate and review it, so look out for it in next year's list. So these are my top picks for the best air purifier in the market right now. I hope I included enough use cases, but let me know which is your favorite and why. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.